Hello sa mga engineering students natin dyan. Welcome ulit sa YouTube channel natin. Now today, ang ituturo ko sa inyo is to how to calculate the centroidal moment of inertia using the calculator techniques. Now, ang topic na to actually is statics but uh, this is actually very important no, sa mga C students. Uh, kasi, alimbawa, sa skill design at saka sa concrete design natin, minsan kasi yung mga examiners, uh, yung binibigay na section sa beam, actually, yung mga composite sections, tapos we still need to calculate the centroidal moment of inertia before we can use yung mga form formulas natin for the flexural stress. Okay? Uh, anyway, uh, yun nga, this is actually the first video no, sa series of calculator techniques. So, don't forget to like and subscribe if ever gusto nyo yung mga future videos natin. Okay? So, let's try to solve. Yan. So, itong problem na to nakuha ko sa internet. No? So, calculate now the moment of inertia of the section with respect to its centroidal x-axis. So, ito yung section natin. Now, alam natin, no, we will divide that into uh, common sections kung saan alam natin yung mga uh, areas, okay, at saka yung centroidal uh, moment of inertia. Anyway, uh, papakita ko sa inyo yung manual calculation, okay? Now, you can actually skip this part. Yan, yan. So, ito yung manual calculation, ipapakita ko na lang, no? So, first, yung gagawin natin, if you will try to solve this manually, is of course, to solve the individual areas. And then afternoon total area. Okay? And then afternoon we have these distances. Ito yung distances, no? With respect, yung centroids ng sections natin, with respect to a certain uh, reference. So, dito actually yung bottom part. Okay? Don't worry, bibigay ko to sa handouts. Okay. Ito din, uh, after nyan, once nakuha na natin yung mga uh, locations, no? Ng centroids with respect to, a, to the bottom. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is to solve the centroidal location no, ng neutral axis with respect to the bottom or to the top using the Varenian's theorem. Okay, now after nyan, meron ka ng uh, barred y. After nyan, ang gagawin mo is to solve another distances. Ito, ito mga distances na to. I-solve mo na naman. Now, this time, with respect na, centroid to the neutral axis na. Tapos after nyan, okay, transfer ka ulit. Okay, transfer moment of inertia. So, medyo matagal na talaga. Anyway, ang nakuha nating sagot for this, if you will try to solve manually, is 4.74 times 10 to the power of 8. Now, don't worry, yung manual solution nito, ituturo ko sa statics class. Okay? Itong classic kasi na to, this is actually for calculator techniques. Okay? Now, now you might think na, sir, uh, madali mo lang, sir, na-explain mo in 30 seconds. Now, promise. Okay? Now, if you will try to solve this, it will take you 15, 10 minutes, especially pag, uh, ano tawag doon, manual ka nag-solve. Okay? So, medyo matagal talaga. Kasi hanapin mo pa yung neutral axis. Now, I will try to teach you a calculator technique na two steps lang actually and then you can easily solve the centroidal moment of inertia. Okay? So, let's try to get our calculator. Now, don't worry if ever wala kayong Canon na calculator. Magamitin. Don't worry, meron ako isa pang emulator dito. Now, itong Canon na ito, papakita ko kasi ito na kasi yung ginagamit ng mga CE students para sa board exam nila. Okay? Nag-announce na kasi yung PRC ng mga new list of calculators. Tapos, yun nga, I think ito yung pinakamalakas na calculator. Anyway, uh, check natin. So, ang gagawin natin, first step is to sum up all the centroidal moment of inertia of the sections. Yung mga sections na ginawa natin. Anyway, uh, we divided this into three sections, di ba? So, balik tayo dito. Yan. So, let's try to calculate yung moment of inertia niya. Unfortunately, sir, bakit kailangan pa natin i-calculate? Sabi mo, sir, uh, shortcut. Now, wala tayong shortcut to calculate the centroidal moment of inertia per section. Kasi, uh, yung calculator mo, hindi niya na-identify kung uh, rectangle ba yan, square ba yan, uh, triangle ba yan. So, you need to calculate talaga kasi iba-iba man yung formula para sa iba't ibang shapes din. Okay? So, since meron tayong rectangle lahat, so, BH cube over 12 lang. Okay? So, first section natin, that's actually 250H, that's 38 cube over 12. Okay? Tapos plus, second section, that's actually, ano yan, 25 times 300 cube over 12, tapos after nyan, plus itong isa, uh, 150 times, that's actually the base, uh, 38 cube over 12. Okay? So, ito na yun. So, store mo yan sa A. Okay. So, once na-store mo yan sa A, tapos ka na sa first uh, part. I mean, tama, first step. Second step is to uh, utilize no yung mode the mode stat ng calculator mo and then uh, kahit first degree lang yan okay so make sure na naka-on yung uh, frequency function na yan now if ever hindi punta ka dito shift mode and then go down check mo yung four stat and then make sure na naka-on yung frequency so on anyway uh, once naka-on na yan input natin na ito yung importante 
yung column X actually represents the distances no of the centroids of the section with respect to a sa location, general location natin. So, ang gagawin natin, either yung bottom or top. So, bottom na lang tayo. Okay? Na ang sunod naman, itong frequency, these are actually the areas of the section. Okay? So, uh, ito yung area 1 natin, no? So, centroid na is nandito until sa bottom, that is actually, ano yan? Simula tayo sa bottom, ang nandyan. So, that's actually 38 plus 300 plus kalahati ng 38. Kalahati nito ba? Okay? 38 divided by 2. Okay? So, ano, tapos yung area, input natin yung area sa frequency. Area nyan, that's simply 38 times 250. Ay, sorry. 280 yun nalagay. 250. Yan o. Okay? So, after nyan, yung second section naman, ito, ito. So, that is actually, ang center dito is nandito. So, 38 plus 150. So, 38 plus 300 divided by 2 or 150. And then, yung frequency na, yung area nito, that's actually 25 times 300. Okay? Now, ang last section nito, that's actually yung center niya from the bottom, that's just 38 divided by 2. Okay? Tapos yung area nito, that is actually 38 times 150. Okay? So, yun lang. Nasolve na natin. So, tapos ka na sa first step, second step. So, just kunin na natin. So, first, recall A plus, di ba, transfer ka Area D squared. So, ang area D squared na to is actually ito. Ups. Yan, number 5. Press 1, yung N. Multiply that by the standard deviation. Square mo yung standard deviation. So, ups, 5, and then standard deviation sa X, no? That's actually 3. Square yan. Yan. Yan na. Ito na yung centroidal moment of inertia mo. Okay, check natin na. I-compare natin. O, diba? 4.74 times 10 to the... 8. Tama ba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So, you know, uh, I hope may natutunan kayo. Now, if ever, sir, uh, paano nangyaring ganyan, sir? Uh, yun nga, uh, yung standard, ito kasing, yan, yan. Ito kasing function na to. Ito, ito, mode, stat, tab, ay, sorry. Ito kasing function na to, itong number 5, yan. Itong number 3, that is actually the population standard deviation. Now, formula yan, yan. Ito kasi yan, yan. Now, we are just interested sa term na to, yung numerator dito, area d squared. So, To solve for the area d squared, we just need the standard deviation. I square mo yan and then multiply that by n. Okay? So, ayok may natutunan kayo. Oh, by the way, if ever ito yung calculator ninyo, uh, nandito pa din yan sa shift, stat, okay? Tapos variables. Ito nga lang yung mukha niya sa standard deviation number 3. Okay? Yung n, same pa din. Okay? So, I hope okay kayo dyan and then meron kayong natutunan ha? So, Uh, yan nga, uh, you can use this method to check no, kung ano yung tama ba talaga yung sagot nyo But usually, sa mga students natin dyan, kailangan kasi show solution kasi tayo no? So, uh, this is actually a very good technique no, to check your answers Now, para naman sa mga board exam takers, uh, I suggest ito yung gagamitin yung method to save time okay? Especially pag hindi ka naman tinanong kung asan yung centroid yun, uh, Diretsyo na ba na centroidal moment of inertia sa agad yung tinanong Anyway, so yun nga, I hope may natutunan kayo and uh, see you sa next video natin. Salamat! Holy Grail.